If you're seeing these signs, God is warning you. My dear child, God speaks to us in many ways, and sometimes He sends us signs to get our attention. These signs are not meant to scare you, but to guide you. God loves you deeply, and wants the best for So when He sends a warning, it's out of love and care. It's His way of protecting you from harm and steering you back onto the right path. Pay close attention to these signs, for they are messages from God meant to help you navigate through life's challenges. God knows the struggles you're facing, the worries that weigh on your heart, and the dangers that lie ahead. He wants to protect you and keep you safe. So when you notice these signs, don't ignore them. Take them to heart, and let them guide your steps. One of the signs God might be warning you is if you're feeling uneasy or restless. This isn't just a random feeling. It's a gentle nudge from God. When something doesn't feel right, when there's a constant sense of unease, it's often God trying to get your attention. He's telling you to be cautious, to slow down, and to seek His guidance. That uneasy feeling in your heart is like a warning bell, urging you to take a closer look at what's happening around you. Maybe there's a situation you're about to walk into that isn't safe, or a decision you're considering that might lead you away from his plan. Don't brush off that restlessness. Instead, take a moment to pray and ask God for clarity. He will reveal what you need to see and guide you to a place of peace. Another sign that God is warning you is when you face repeated challenges or obstacles. If you keep encountering the same problems over and over again, it's not just a coincidence. God might be trying to tell you something. Perhaps he's closing a door that isn't meant for you, or redirecting you toward a different path. When things keep going wrong, it's time to pause and reflect. Ask God what he's trying to show you. These obstacles are often his way of protecting you, something that's not in your best interest. It's easy to get frustrated when things don't go as planned. But remember, God sees the bigger picture. He knows what lies ahead. And sometimes, He allows obstacles to prevent you from heading down a path that could lead to harm or heartache. Trust that these challenges are a form of divine protection. And seek His guidance on how to move forward. If you've been praying for something and it seems like God isn't answering, this could be another sign that he's warning you. Sometimes God's silence or delays are his way of saying, not yet, or I have something better for you. It's important to remember that God's timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with our own. When your prayers go unanswered, don't lose heart. Instead, ask God to help you understand what he's trying to tell you. Maybe the thing you're asking for isn't part of his plan. Perhaps it's not the right time yet. God always has your best interests at heart, and his delays are often a way of protecting you from something that's not meant for. Trust in his wisdom, and know that he is working behind the scenes for good. Sudden changes in your life, especially those that feel out of your control, can be a sign that God is warning you. Whether it's a job loss, a relationship ending, or an unexpected move, these changes can be unsettling, but often, they are God's way of redirecting you. He might be closing one chapter to open another, leading you away from something that isn't good for you and toward something better. When life takes an unexpected turn, it's natural to feel anxious or upset. But remember, God is in control. He knows what's best for you, even when it's hard to see it at the moment. These sudden changes are his way of steering you in the right direction. Instead of resisting, lean into his plan and trust that he is guiding you toward something greater. If you find yourself drifting away from God, feeling less connected to him, this could be a sign that something is wrong. God never moves away from us. Sometimes our actions or choices can create distance. This distance might be God's way of warning you that you're heading down a path that could lead you away from his love and protection. Pay attention to your spiritual life. If you notice that you're praying less, 
reading the Bible less, or feeling less connected to God, take it as a warning sign. It's time to draw closer to Him, to reconnect with His love and guidance. God desires a close relationship with you. And when you start to drift, He will gently nudge you back, reminding you of His presence and His love. Don't ignore this sign. Take the time to reconnect with God and realign your life with His will. God sometimes speaks to us through dreams or vision. If you've been having recurring dreams or powerful visions, could be God trying to warn you. Pay attention to the messages in these dreams. They might be revealing something important about your life, a decision you need to make, or a danger you need to avoid. God uses dreams as a way to communicate with us, especially when He wants to get our attention. Don't dismiss these dreams as random thoughts. Instead, pray for understanding and ask God to reveal what He's trying to show you. Dreams can be a powerful tool for God to warn and guide you. They might not always make sense at first, but with prayer and reflection, their meaning will become clear. Trust that God is using these dreams to protect you and lead you on the right path. Sometimes, God uses other people to deliver His warnings. If you're hearing the same advice or caution from multiple people, take it seriously. God often speaks through those around us, using them as His messengers to deliver important warnings. When someone close to you gives you advice or expresses concern about something in your life, don't dismiss it. Instead, consider that God might be using them to get your attention. Whether it's a friend, family member, or even a stranger, these warnings are often God's way of guiding you. Listen to the people around you, especially those who care about you. They might be the voice of God in your life, offering wisdom and guidance when you need it most. Don't ignore their word. Instead, take them to heart and seek God's direction. Sometimes God's warnings come as a strong feeling or intuition. It's that inner voice that tells you something isn't right, that you should proceed with caution, or that you need to change course. This intuition is often God's way of guiding you and protecting you from harm. Trust your instinct, especially when they are persistent. God has given you this inner sense for a reason. It's His way of speaking directly to your heart, guiding you when you need it most. When you feel a strong urge to avoid a situation or to take a different path, listen to it. This is often God's way of warning you, steering you away from danger and toward His plan for your life. Don't ignore these feelings. Trust that God is using them to guide and protect you. If you're seeing these signs, know that God is warning you because He loves you. He wants to protect you and guide you on the right path. Pay attention to these signs and take them seriously. Pray for wisdom and understanding and ask God to reveal His plan for your life. Type Amen. In the comments below if you believe in God's guidance and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more messages like this. Together. Let's walk in the light of His love and wisdom. Amen. By sharing this message, you can help others recognize God's warnings in their lives. Let them see God's love through you, and together, we can spread His light and guidance to those who need it most. Your faith and trust in God are powerful, and by sharing this message, you become a beacon of hope for others. Encourage those around you to pay attention to the signs God is sending and to seek His guidance in all things. Men.